in this section we're going to be talking about uh, real numbers and and then we're going to talk about the number line a little bit later too but let's talk about what the real numbers are first the real numbers oops went too far from my picture there we go the real numbers are not just you know some term it's an actual set of numbers that we use now here is a um, a diagram of what our number system looks like and what we're going to do is we're going to start off and we're going to build this system so that you'll have a better understanding of what this diagram is talking about. Okay, so the very first set of numbers that we ever learn when we're very small, um, you know, watching Barney or Sesame Street or uh, whatever, Dora, you know, depending on what, what time you came up in, um, but the very first set of numbers you ever learn is like when you're starting to learn to count. It's, you know, you're sitting in front of the TV going one, two, three, four, and so on and so forth. Um, we call those, you know, the counting numbers for obvious reasons because you are counting, um, but their more proper name is technically the natural numbers. So if I look back up here at my drawing, this set right here of the natural numbers, this is our very first core set that we ever learn. Now, we get a little bit older and we learn that there's this thing called zero. You know, this is the things where, you know, your mother says, no, don't put that down, uh, put that down, I don't have any money, I have zero money. Then when we add what we already knew, the one, two, three, four, we add zero to that, this is now called the whole numbers. So if I look back up here at my drawing, the whole numbers is what happens when you add zero in to the natural numbers. Now it becomes a whole new set called the whole numbers. But now this is not all the numbers that we use. When you're in grade school, these are the only numbers that you use. You know, when you first learn to add, subtract, and multiply and divide, you're using the whole number set. But then, you know, we get a little bit older and we realize that there are some other things. We, we start learning about fractions and things like that. Well, before we start to talk about fractions, there's actually a set that we need to talk about before that. And these are things like, you know, I say you're watching TV and you hear about a wind chill of minus four degrees, something like that. We realize that there are numbers that are on the opposite side of the number line from zero in the, in the positive numbers. These are negative numbers. When we add those negative numbers into our already existing set from zero on up, we call this set the integers. And if we look at it on our drawing over here, see when we add those negatives or the other side of the number line to what we already had, we now call this whole entire thing the integers. All right, now that gives us a much better definition of the term rational numbers. Generally, we think of the rational numbers as being fractions or anything that can be written as a fraction, and that's true. But a better way to say it is that it is a quotient of two integers with a denominator not zero. So this is a ratio or a quotient, something like four over five. 4 is an integer and 5 is an integer when we put them at write them as a quotient or as a ratio technically it's called a rational number so if I look back here at my drawing again when we add all of those ratios of integers into our already existing set we call that now the rational numbers now notice the rational numbers includes the integers, which include the whole numbers, which include the natural numbers. So um, all of these build on each other. Now, if a number is not rational, it must be irrational. And that's what we talk about here. The irrational numbers are things that cannot be written as a ratio of two integers. They're weird things. When we join the rational numbers to the irrational numbers, now this entire set here is called the real numbers. And that's what we're going to be working with during this class.